What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well in today's video we are going over mana as its price is giving us some very interesting signs and possible indicators to say that it may be looking at a reversal very soon here. Now considering the fact that Bitcoin is ruling the market right now we can see that it did see a nice break to the upside of this downtrend in which we put in and considering the fact that we did see this big break to the top side here I think that this is going to be the first step for us to really start to see the crypto market turn around even if we do trickle back to the downside at any given point i think the moment that we do start to get this breakout for bitcoin it's going to open the doors for all of our cryptos to seek growth and i definitely do think mana is going to be a part of that especially considering the fact that we are in some type of accumulation phase right now so with that being said in today's video we're going to take a look at what i need to see happen for me to get very bullish on mana and when at what point would i start to ladder in so with that being said of course let's go ahead and let's get into the video so what's going on for mana right now is the fact that we are still within our green box now you guys do know that this green box is simply just going to be our most recent macro low to our most recent macro high swing uh, 786 to 618 zone as you can see here and so this 618 to 786 zone between those two Fibonacci retracement levels is going to be one of the most absolutely important and key levels of resistance and support that you will see on a chart now we can also uh, match this and pair this with the fact that this is one of our most significant levels of support and resistance based off the VPVR just to say that this zone right here if it does not hold of course we can expect more of a catastrophic fall to the downside likely to retest some of these lows and so what that means for us is the fact that we are in this zone and starting to see signs of reversals it makes a lot of sense because this is where it would reverse so what we need to take a look at right now is how are we interacting with resistance and support based off of our trend lines and based off of our emas and our moving averages so the first thing that i like to pay attention to is how are we interacting with just simple trend lines are we holding support are we breaking support what are we doing to start to see this bottoming out effect like we're seeing right here and what we can go ahead and do is just take a point right let's just take this very all-time high that we set and if we just go ahead and we simply just start drawing down some of our lines let's just follow it boom here we go let's just follow it and see what's happening what we can see is happening right now is that we're putting in this trend line obviously we're seeing the breakout and the back testing of support and we're holding it and that is extremely important now, if we simply just look like, okay, well, it kind of seems as if though, since we're moving to the side, we can kind of drag these trend lines to some of our other local highs just to see how we're interacting with them once we break through them. And so instead of working, you know, focusing more on this high to this high, maybe we can go from this high to this one just to see how the trend line interacts. So we're going to just drag it. And what can we see? When we do that, we saw the similar formation, the breakout, the back testing of support. And so as you can see, every time that we can, you know, we can move this to all of these highs and you can see what's happening is we're breaking out and we're coming down to establish the support. We're breaking out. We're coming down to establish the support. Similar here, right? We see the breakout boom from high. Oops. There we go. From high to high to high. So three points makes a trend. You can see the breakout, the back testing of support. And as we continue to do this, as we continue to see the clearing of resistance and a back test of support, we're starting to put in some of these better lows, some of these higher lows that are allowing us to round back off to the top side. And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal way for us to establish support because all of this support establishment, all of this holding that we're doing on each one of these key levels is only establishing more and more of a foundation, growing our VPVR and allowing us to see that continuation with the strong base under us. And so all of that to say that if we do start to see the clearing and confirmations to the top side, I am expecting a, ra a rather large move to the back to the top side, okay? So in order for us to see the move to the top side, we need to check, okay, well, do our indicators support that move? So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the dailies and we're going to take a look at what our indicators are telling us. Well, one thing that I noticed almost immediately was some very, very strong, strong bullish divergence. Now, what that's going to look like is the fact that we set this low and we came up and we are attempting. So we still have not really confirmed it on a macro level as a reversal just yet. But at the moment, we have put in this low down here. And as you can see, that's a higher low. Now, if we look at what that you know relates to on the RSI, you can see that we put in a low and a substantially lower low. No matter where this low gets put in, this is a substantially lower low. 
So what that tells us is that we are seeing some very clear, clear as day, bullish divergence that is back under the 50 level. And typically, once you see 50 and below, you know, even better would be 30 or below. But once you see 50 or below on the RSI and you're seeing bullish divergence occurring, that can always mean that there's a lot and a significant amount of room to the upside on the RSI to allow the price to see some massive growth, which does support the theory that we could be looking at a big boom to the top side. Now, looking at something like our, um, our MACD, just to kind of see where this thing is at, one thing you can also see is that coming off of this big little drop that we've seen over the last couple uh, weeks here, you can see that our MACD is attempting to see convergence. Our red candles are slowly declining. We're starting to see a drop in them. And of course, as that is happening, our blue EMA is working right up towards our orange EMA. All of that to say that if we do get that bullish cross there, that could be a fantastic sign that momentum is back in our side, similar to what we saw back here, which will also support the theory of us seeing a big move to the upside. So not only do our trend line support the idea of a move, especially off of all the support establishment we're seeing, but we are also seeing that being supported by our MACD and our RSI and many of our important indicators, which is extremely important. So last but not least, when do we buy? Personally speaking, I am looking for the clearing of $3.64 in the setting of a new local high. That is going to be the utmost important thing that we can see happening right now. Now, one thing that we can see happening is that though it's not a perfect inverse head and shoulders, we can see something similar happening here in which we're putting in a possible little left shoulder. We're putting in possibly a head and we're looking to put in a right shoulder here. Now, it's not perfect. It's not textbook, but it doesn't have to be perfect for the concept to be the same in the formation and the overall price action to have similar results. And so what we're looking at is the possible formation, again, of a very, very important and um, strong reversal pattern here of course now we can also see that we have been creating some other bullish patterns as well that have not yet fully gone through due to the rest of the market not seeing the breakout yet but it's a sign of strength whenever you're seeing these w bottoms form you know whenever we can see that we're putting in these bullish reversal patterns it tells me that when the rest of the market is ready to move as we talked about earlier and as we talked about these breakouts happening when the rest of the market's ready to move i'm under the belief that mana is going to see some pretty significant growth so personally speaking i'm looking for the breakout in the back testing of three dollars and 64 cents this is the point in which i want to be buying because at that point i am under the belief that we will retest back to the top side fibonacci which could look like some type of move all the way back up to 463 or in terms of percentages that could be another move of 20 to 30 percent before we even see some major resistance so with that being said that's my current game plan of course if we were to do that we would also start to look on the daily charts at how we could see our bollinger bands being interacted with and and as you can see, that would go ahead and give us a move straight through our 20 day moving average, which has served as resistance two times now. And if we're to see this happen, I think it would open up our Bollinger Bands and we could start to chase the top, which puts us towards this $4 to uh, $4.60 to $5 area. So all of that to say that our key level right now is $3.64. That's what we're looking for. That's the clearing that we need. And we still absolutely cannot fall below $2.89. So until one of these things happen, I'm really not doing much. I'm kind of sitting back i'm watching and i'm allowing this to play out but things are definitely moving in a bullish favor and i'm very excited to continue to cover it so with that being said that's going to be about it for today's video of course i hope you guys did enjoy if you did of course you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new that would help my channel grow it gets my name out there and more people can see this content so if you did enjoy it i think that other people could too so definitely do that but with that being said of course i will see you all next time peace